What is up, guys? Don't forget to watch it. In fact, welcome back to some more Batman. All right, we are now on episode four. So last episode, uh, episode three, uh, Penguin had taken over Bruce and Bruce Wayne Enter Wayne Enterprises because of the uh, video footage that was shown by the leader of the Children of Arkham, which was basically uh, Bruce's dad. Uh, <clears throat> Bruce's dad and Mayor Hill um, injecting a penguin's, I believe his mother, with the same drug that Penguin has used on, or at least the children have used on other people um, so that he could take, so that they could get what they want, so that Wayne's so that Wayne's father could claim the la Copper Pot's land. And that's where they built Wayne Enterprises. So after all these years, when people saw that footage, they decided that the board decided it was best if Wayne stepped down as CEO and lets an interim take its place, which happened to be Copperpot or Oswald. So then, and then we then later found out that the children of Arkham were planning to use a train to spread the chemicals throughout the entire city. But thankfully, Batman put a stop to it. But then later on, we found out that um, Bat, that the leader of the children of Arkham, was actually Vicky. Vicky, the same person we gave the news, or the the same girl who was the news reporter, the journalist. Um, she was the she's Lady Arkham, and she injected us with the drug like as we were stepping down, and she, uh, ended up drugging us. And since we couldn't control ourselves, we ended up attacking penguins. So now we're gonna resume off from where we are. Bruce and Batman must forge new alliances to fight old rivals to protect the innocent and keep Gotham from descending into chaos. So let's start. Episode 4. Oh, things are getting tense in this series, and I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, I hope you guys can hear my voice okay. I have my mic at the max, just so you can hear me better. And then, I'm just trying to keep my mic away from the... Whatever you guys don't care, let's just play the game. Previously, I'm Batman, the Telltale Series. Beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. You're a good man, Bruce. Please, Selina, I have to tell you how I... Bruce? You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. Oh, and here we are. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Oh my gosh. So this is where we are. Wait, are, so we gonna resume from like the attack? I don't know. You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, we were drugged. Oh God, what indeed. Is this place? Yeah. 
breakfast. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> For Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What doctor? Oh, my God. Where am I? Uh. Rusty Cod? My blood. God, I hope it's mine. Yeah, I don't want to sleep in someone's bed with that has blood on it. Uh, I guess I'll... Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. This is really bad. I'm in Arkham Asylum! This can't be real. Oh man, we're trapped in here. Security camera. They're watching us. They're watching us, man. Oh god. Looks Broke. like someone was angry. Lovely. Oh god, do I I I hope I don't have an inmate. I don't have a, a roommate or whatever. Oh god. That drug's still having an effect on me. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. You can tell me why I'm in Arkham Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot? You beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this ringing a bell? Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. Oh no. Oh god, someone paid him off! As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do to you. You really don't want to do this. You don't know a damn thing about me, Wayne. Oh, God. Oh, dears. Oh, God. Whoa. Ah. Oh, man. The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the? Rude! Churlish! Not nice! How do you like it? You are pathetic! Dear Lord, who... who the... Oh... No... The Joker! Buddy... Oh, buddy... Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. I... Thank you. I appreciate the help. You're welcome. If we don't look out for each it's other... It's the Joker! I recognize that white pale what? face and green hair anywhere! What, what is going the hell? On it's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? <laughs> of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The, the new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no-fighting policy here in Arkham. If you can't obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some... Excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking up for the new guy. 
I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your... blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> oh my god, the Joker. Price of admission. Chap trophy. Completed chapter one of episode four. Batman, the Telltale series. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. For There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! Oh, dear Lord. This place is insane. Oh Our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next value. Okay, I think I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm sorry for pausing the game, but I'm gonna try and maybe uh, gameplay uh, about audio and video. Uh, brightness. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like that. See if maybe that might help. If I turn down the brightness a bit. Is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself again. Oh. <laughs> Every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Yeah, duly noted. And why are you glitching? Darn it. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, <laughs> betting... No, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. <laughs> They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. I don't remember to this. Huh. I'll come by to check on you two later. On. I don't like this place. Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care of him. Oh man, I don't really don't like it here. Can I go home, please? Episode four. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. Guardian of Gotham. Watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! There this is, is weirding me out. The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh! I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Oh, God. Oh, man. Uh. Nurse's station. Can I. Can I go home, please? 
Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. Okay, well... <laughs> I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry, sorry. What am I supposed to use this key for? Not the right key for this. So what do you give me the key for? Is it for the gate? Uh, I'm trying to talk to him. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Yeah, okay. Also, I really don't know why it's kind of blurring out like that, guys. I really do apologize for that. I really don't know what's going on with this game, but... We've come this far. We just kind of got to stick Wait, with it. That's the move you're going to make, huh? Yeah. What? Ah, oh, damn it, Billy. Get out of my way. No reason. No wonder Jack hates you. Lewis. Hmm? What? Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. I'm speaking as a, as a profession, I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic, I'll give him that much. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. Oh, man. Well, he got the remote. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? What's that? Okay, well... It seems... Steve, at least Harvey's kind of keeping his composure. For the last I'm not mind control. Arnold Wesker. Hello. Hello? Go away! Arnold, busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. What can you tell me about uh, John Doe? Oh God, I see the inside of my face. Nothing. I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah, nothing. Why do I keep saying the inside of my face? Stop it! Say. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know. In case you were wondering. Well, yeah. don't worry. I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Well, what? Same goes about you. Uh, sure. Okay, I think that's enough talking. Orderly. <laughs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Oh, the big guy's here too? I didn't even see him. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Oh man. We can never do that. Okay, I don't want to give him the key and I don't want to trade on the gate yet. Uh, like. I don't think I should. Ugh. 
Well, there is a phone there, but... Should I use key? Hmm. Well, this key doesn't fit. What the hell is it for? So if it doesn't work on the gate, then... If it doesn't work for there, it doesn't work. Um, I guess I'll have to talk to John Doe, because I don't know what else to do. Your key? It didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it, though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's just like the My joke. enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears. But this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including... Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double cross, two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Ah! Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicki. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicki is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicki and her drugs, huh? So he knows Vicki is Lady Arkham. Just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot. Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. I'm not doing anything for you. You got that? That's unfortunate. It really is. I was looking forward to it for a moment there. Oh, God. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pumped full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky. Why does everybody keep talking about my father? Dad, help bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad. Well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. So, Surely. So the Waynes killed Vicky's lady. parents too? And that's why she's Lady Arkham? Tragedy can drive people to do some.
pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. What? And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. <laughs> Holy crap! But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. Sure. One favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads uh, of Like fun. I have a choice. You'll see. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What well, are you like... talking about? Ah! Oh! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! My skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Needs it! Need to get rid of it! Oh god. Someone give me a sedative! Run, oh god. Brucey! Run! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Call security! <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, oh god, up, 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 up. Use Gordon connection. GCBD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug that children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Uh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have oh. To go. Oh, Gordon, old buddy. <laughs> oh, Bruce, I have not had this much fun in ages. He loves the chaos. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the Veils. Ask the Veils. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Whoa. So Vicky's parents were also murdered by, Bru by Bruce's Ridley father? In there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Yeah. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred! Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order, 
signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Oh, thank God I'm getting out of here. John Doe. Joker. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What's that about? <laughs> oh my god! That's insane! So yeah, so I get, yeah, from what John Doe said, or Joker, whoever, he, uh, well, Vicky's parents were also killed by Bruce's father. Now she wants revenge. To failed this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this... ridiculous crusade against me. I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. Bruce? Bruce! We're oh. done talking. Oh man, the drug's still having an effect on us still. Just how long does this thing last? What's going on here? What the hell? Why are there so many cops? Did Mayor... Did Harvey declare martial law? Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Go ahead. I have nothing to hide. Doesn't sound like it. Besides, everyone's hiding something. Oh, man. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? 
careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Oh man, this is not Either going to... let so... these people at you and see how you handle mob justice. Or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back off! Back off! Stay off the Bruce, enforcer! Oh, hey, God. Your oh, God. committed innocent people to... Ram it! Sure Ram it! I'm not Ram paying shit! Paying. This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred! Oh, glad to hear you got out of so see you when you get back. Oh my god, that drug is, ha is something else. Got some stuff we need to talk about. I didn't know I was going to say all that. It's the drug that was making me do that. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? I, uh... I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... all of this. Oh, It sucks to see Selina leave, but I know why she has to do it. Gotham is just too dangerous right now. Even with Harvey as mayor, it's become chaos. Ugh. Oh boy. Ugh. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Yeah, Break I'm not feeling so good. Vicky Vale's drug. I'm on it. 
If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. Oh man. I'll make the preparations. Oh. Okay, so Codex got the feed. Oh man. My name in Arkham was short, but one patient in particular left a big impression on me. I didn't catch his name, but I won't ever forget his face. Or his laugh. He looked like some kind of creepy circus clown. Yep! However, he did provide invaluable help in tracking down Vicky and her missing drug stash. For that, I agreed to grant him a favor. What's one favor to a man who will never see the outside of Arkham Asylum? Oh, I don't know about that. I have a feeling we'll be seeing him again. Oh, boy. Okay. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. And we don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Oh, man. So I have to... Oh, I have to match the drug molecule sequence to the key image. Okay. Okay, so it's like mix and match. Okay, I get it. Um, there we go. Got it. That should do it. All right. Here we go. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Oh god. Oh. Oh. I think we did it. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. Oh, man. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman, trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. Well, trustworthy or not, it's the best lead we have. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please 
Be careful. Oh, it's time for some more Batman! Finally! Oh, thank God we got out of that prison. Whew! And now we're cured of the drug, too. Thank goodness. Gotham Heights, Vale Residence, 5.46 p.m. So this is where Vicky's parents were. Going in is Batman. Batman! I'm inside the Vale House. Move deeper into the house to get a better look. Holy crap! Dude! Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Oh, so wait, maybe Bru so maybe uh, Bruce's father didn't kill them. They just probably never came forward. They probably just never came forward about what Thomas Wayne was doing because they were afraid of what would happen. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Oh, man. Uh, Miss, Mrs. Vale's body. Uh, oh, God. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Ugh. That's nasty. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Oh, dear. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Okay, so we gotta make some connections here. So she was obviously... Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Okay. And then... Hair? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Oh, wow. Oh, man. This has weirded me out big time. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Good question. Over the pantry. I want something to eat. Being a superhero is tough. Tough work. Okay. Found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. Okay, I just lost my appetite. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Okay, so do I have to uh, match the logo with the uh, picture? The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Yep, that's the plan. Damn, so her parents must have been... Or at least her father was like a business owner, so he might have been rich too. Not as Large rich as Wayne, but... Large blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Hmm. 
An indentation in the wall made by the force of a thick object. Um, is there anything like on the table? Or anything? Maybe the belt buckle? I'm guessing, cause it had, cause he said it was beaten with the belt, so maybe that's what was on the wall. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Okay, so that's good at least. And then the lock of hair. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's with the knife. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity on Lady Arkham, Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Oh, so they were adopted. Vale fought back and was able to slice so off maybe Wayne of did hair. have them killed. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred, I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Oh god, someone else is here. Nope. Clear. Nothing here. Oh man. Yes, heat signatures are always good because your body heat is always 98.6 degrees at least. Uh anybody in the couch? Anything? No. Nope. Gotta keep looking. You don't suppose Vicky's still here? Wait a minute. What about inside the stairs? There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Oh. It's that poor boy. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. It's gonna be okay. Gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Y yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I. I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Oh, uh, there's something else. Poor boy, he's gonna be traumatized for life after that incident. Get down! Oswald. Penguin. Let me guess. 
You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Ah! Oh, I missed. Did I get him? The hell? Oh man, that didn't work either. Whoa. Whew. That was close. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> They're dead. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Oh, man. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Oh, see, Batman can be nice to kids. Batman. Oh, my God. He was the only survivor. He turned his voice thing on again. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Yeah, take that, you stupid jackass. You're freaking welcome. Home sweet home. Oh man, I don't think about... I don't think that's the perfect trophy name for this. That poor kid, he's gonna be traumatized for life. Oh man. So those were Vicky's adopted parents, not her real parents. So her real parents must have been killed by, by the Wayne family. And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. Exterior cross casing. Uh, no damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Uh... EMP functionality is all in the green. It should have worked. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. 
I'm here. What's up? Take a look at this. God. Someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. Oh, that's not good. My lord. That would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to him. Cobblepot doesn't know we're onto him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate, so the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city, or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared. Paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Who knows how he will react either way. Oh god. Should I go as Batman or should I go as Bruce? Oh god. Um... I mean, I still want to believe in Harvey. He was a good buddy, but he just, he's losing himself. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, I don't know. What should I do? Should I go as Batman or should I go as Bruce? Um. Oh, God. Uh, this go as Bruce. Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. I want to give my old friend a one last chance. Back to business. Chapter 4 of Episode 4. Oh my gosh. What's going to become of him? City Hall, 9.12 p.m. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? Don't screw this up, Harvey. Harvey, we need to talk. If you've come to save your home, you're wasting your time. My mind is made up. I have always supported you. You were my friend. Tell me, Bruce, were you thinking about our friendship when you were screwing Selena? Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selena. I get it. But this has to stop. Now. Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city. That's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. The value of your estate, it could be used to do a lot of good. Believe me, Harvey, I've been paying for them my whole life. I have nothing left to give. I'll be the judge of that. I'm sorry, Bruce. But I can't back down now. I've got a lot of pressure on me right now. Got enemies everywhere. And strong leaders crush their enemies. Without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. Well, I'm not giving up on you. Not yet. I still want to believe in Harvey Dent. Oh, you will. Everyone will. 
After they see what I've done to the children of Arkham. What do you mean? Ready to go. Do it. What the hell? What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Hey, man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Hey, how quickly can we get a fire truck here? Does a leader kill innocent people? You're a murderer now. Their deaths are unfortunate. But think about everyone the children of Arkham could have hurt with those drugs. That feels like an acceptable price to pay. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the oh shadows to know what I'm capable of. Then I'll do anything to protect my city. After what you've done tonight, everyone in Gotham is going to see who they really elected mayor. And when that happens, they will turn against you. On the contrary, Bruce, this is what Gotham wanted. Oh, I can see tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham Terror Plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Oh no. Tragic, but unsurprising. If you kill me, you better make sure I'm dead. Because if not, what I did to Cobblepod will look like child's play. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, uh, maybe we should have gone as Batman. Come on, keep walking. Wait. Shut up. Just wait. Just keep moving. Please, why are you doing this? Hey, he said shut up. I know that when you put that uniform on in the morning, you do it because you want to help Gotham. You are better than this. This is not how you help the city. Sometimes. You need to do a little bad to do a lot of good. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. You had to see it. When Lady Arkham drugged him, he changed. He's... he's just had to get more firm in the face of the children of Arkham. He's still got the city's best interest at heart. Your mayor? Just blew up a city block. Sometimes to help the greater good, there's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I... I... But and if you think that's where he's gonna stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I... Uh, maybe, uh... Maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it! You don't understand! That's why we need to take you out. Maybe... Maybe what? Uh... Nothing. Just think for yourselves. You're not Harvey's puppets. You are more than This that. isn't about the mayor. This is about protecting the city. And that's why we're not afraid to do what it takes. Officer! Drop your weapon! You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of Oh, time. Gordon. I know I can always Gee, count on you, buddy. Me. Denton just blew up a whole city block. I know, I know. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. Denton's gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist with half the city's support behind him. God, the amount of blood on his hands. He and Lady Arkham might be neck and neck on body count by this point. You gotta be able to arrest him after this, right? We're doing what we can, Bruce. 
But there aren't a whole lot of contingency plans for what to do when your mayor starts blowing up the city. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I hand it into my superiors and... God, this happens. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help. But I feel like my hands Sorry are tied about that every glitch. direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head. As soon as he can figure out a way to do it. <sighs> I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Dent's power comes from bending the law to work around you. Maybe you need to do the same. Hey, I swore an oath to uphold the law above all else. But you're right that with Dent changing the rules, we might need to update our playbook too. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. Oh yeah, it's time for the Batman once again. What's the again? situation? I I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Oh, man. I'd say... Oh, I gotta go to Wayne Manor. Understood. See you soon. Oh, man. Another night at the office. Oh man. So I gotta freaking go as ba I gotta go to Wayne Manor. Not one step further. Now oh, come on, Al. Put the rifle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Somehow. I don't believe you. Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, how it's me, Harvey. No, not the Harvey I know. The Harvey I know would never have massacred innocent civilians. He isn't a murderer. Murderer. When a general sends his troops to kill the enemy, no one calls it murder. <sighs> Penguin is still hacking my tech. Guess I'll be doing this the old-fashioned way. Oh, man. Batman! What the hell are you doing here? You've destroyed enough lives for one night. I'm taking you in. Wait, wait, wait. I thought we were on the same side. Not anymore. But it was your intel that led me to the Children of Arkham's stockpile of drugs. You made me mayor when you saved me from that freak penguin, remember? Everything I've done, everything I am, wouldn't be possible without you. I'm not responsible for who you've become, or the things you've done. I wouldn't be so sure about that. If it wasn't for you, I couldn't have crippled the children of Arkham. If you can't see the good I've done for this city, then you're no better than Lady Arkham. Or the Waynes. Now get out of here! Before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You stand in my way. You stand in the way of the law. Oh boy. Well, you're gonna need more than this, Harvey. I know. Oh God, is that a Tommy gun? You know what those are? 
Explosive sludge! <laughs> but you don't have any of those in that little belt of yours! That was close. Oh god. Gonna keep moving. Yeah, just try and hide, Batman. See how that works out for ya. Oh god! He got me! No! The bat's mine! Use your head, Harvey. Killing me won't make you a hero. This old man needs to die. Uh-oh. He's out of ammo. Your head? Or your heart? What's that sound? What the- The bats! Release the bats! Bats! No! Take the cover! Bats! No! Get the hell off! Oh man, he's strong. Take yeah. You don't understand, Batman. Without me. Gotham is doomed. Who will stop Lady Arkham? Don't you give up on me, Harvey. I know you're still in there. I still believe in Harvey Dent. That's... That's good to hear. Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for, he should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. Dan is too dangerous and too damaged to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually be able to help him in there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, you stay safe out there, all right? You too, Jim. Man. It almost looked like half his body got burned. Or maybe it's just his suit. Good lord. So now what? I chose to go to the Way Manor instead of Wayne Enterprises. So what's gonna happen now? Lucius, Al, what's going on? Bruce, the computer. I've been doing everything I can, but I can't keep him out. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. Oh man. Penguin's desperate. The good, the bat, and the ugly. Episode 4, Guardian of Gotham. Oh man, you and I agreed to owe Joker a favor after being released from Arkham. That was almost 50-50! Damn. That's scary. Did you go along with Joker's plan? Yes, you chose to follow Joker and make a phone call to get out of Arkham. Yes. 
You and 48.8% of players rammed the barricade at Harvey Security Checkpoint. Oh, man, that one was kind of close, too. <laughs> oh, dude, that's insane. Did you deal with Harvey as Bruce or Batman? Oh, man, 43%? Wow. A little bit more. You and Finn chose to stop Harvey from destroying your home and risked Ogwell taking away your tech. Oh, Because I couldn't abandon my buddy Alfred. I couldn't let him venture that alone. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, whoops. I have to go to the next one. Wow. Well, it was a risky choice, but... Oh, we've stopped Harvey, but now... We still have to deal with Lady Arkham, and... Who knows what happens after that. Don't know what's gonna happen, but... That wraps it up for this episode of Batman. We still got one last episode to play. And it seems as though that The Wolf Among Us, five episodes are based on fables, an award-winning comic book. Oh, it's a... Oh, that's weird. Updating content. What? Wolf Among Us. I don't know anything about that, but still. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um... But, but yeah, now that we know that, uh, so we're trying desperately to stop Penguin, and then who knows what's going to happen. We still have to f find the children. We have to find Lady Arkham and put a stop to her as well. So that's going to be it for this episode. And then come next time, we will play Episode 5. The battle for control of Gotham intensifies, reaching a fevered pitch as Bruce discovers a renewed sense of purpose. Batman finds himself pushed to the limits in a desperate effort to restore order. So it's going to be a finale for everyone, like none of you seen. So you're just going to have to wait until next time. So thanks again, everybody, so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next wave. Ta-ta for now.